Hello everyone. I'd like to share with you a little bit of my culture, my Inuit culture. I am of Inuit ancestry. And I have here with me a woman's soapstone lamp. In the Inuit world, we call it a kulluk. Kulluk. Q-U-L-L-I-Q. Kulluk. Now, today it is used in ceremonies, in celebrations, and uh, in, uh, in honoring people um, at anniversaries or birthdays, special gatherings. The kulluk is made out of soapstone. It is quite heavy. This is a small one. And the kulluk would normally burn. Uh, the fuel is, uh, would be seal blubber mainly seal blubber, pounded into an oil. Today I'm using canola oil. And uh, they also used oils from other animals that they harvested. Seals, whales, fish, ducks and geese, or even caribou and moose. They'd pound the, the fat of these animals and render it down to make oil. So today I'd like to Light this kulluk in your honor and uh, show you how this little lamp can heat up a room. The kulluk was kept by the Inuit woman. The Inuit women were the fire keepers. She looked after the flame. If they were moving from one camp to another, she would be the keeper of the flame. She'd have a special little pouch in which she kept the, a small flame embering. And then she would use the kulluk, relight the kulluk in her new igloo once that was built. So as you can see, I lit the, the wick, goes about this far across the width of the kulluk, and here I have Arctic cotton, which is soaked up the oil, and also the fluff from Arctic willows. And the flame will spread across the, the wick. And uh, it is quite a lovely flame. It's very peaceful. It's calming. You have to look after it, tend to it well, make sure it, make sure it doesn't give off smoke and black soot. And once the flame gets going, you can feel the heat. In an igloo, a family, Inuit family, it, it might be about zero degrees all winter long in an igloo made of snow. And their kulluk, some of them were bigger, some were slightly smaller. That was their source of heat that kept their igloo warm and it also dried any of their skin clothing that they would hang on racks above the flame to dry out their clothing. And it also cooked their food. Um, as you can see, the flame is spreading nicely across the wick, and it's quite warm. When I, when I light my kulluk at home, I tend to it. It's mesmerizing, and uh, I feel at peace. And I can think of my ancestors, those who survived the harsh Arctic winters during those many days of the dark, cold winter before spring came along and uh, they can move out onto the land off the Arctic sea ice. Before I light the kulluk, because it had belonged, belonged to an Inuit woman who I do not know that has passed away long before I came along, I always silently say a prayer to her, acknowledge that I have her kulluk, and promise to her that I will keep it in good hands, respect it, and use it properly as it should be used. And in her honor, um, I light it, and I say a thank you prayer to her. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. <laughs>